special way uh, tell the people of Kenya in this first meeting of the leadership of uh, Kenya Kwanzaa that every Kenyan can now go back to their phones. You don't have to use WhatsApp, you don't have to use Signal, you can go back and use your normal phone. Because blackmail, intimidation, threats have come to a stop. I want to promise the people of Kenya that our administration will have nothing to do with the blackmail we have seen, the threats we have seen, the fear that has been sold around the country, that you cannot talk to this or that person because they don't share your political views. I want to tell the people of Kenya, we are having our democratic country back. And everybody can speak to everybody about everything in every way they want, and nobody is going to victimize them. We live in a democratic country, and that is how it should be. Um, to those of us who have been elected, from all the political parties, and especially those who have been elected, those of us who have been elected in Kenya Kwanzaa, I want to tell you right from here, that with the leadership position that has been bestowed on us, the national leadership and the leadership at every level, that leadership that we have won bestows on us a lot of authority. But I want to tell you that with authority comes responsibility. And with responsibility comes accountability. So we must be alive, even as we celebrate that we have won, that on us is authority, yes, but a lot of responsibility has been put on our shoulders. And the people of Kenya expect of us that we must be accountable. The greater the responsibility we have, the higher the accountability bar that comes with it. And therefore, as we celebrate this moment, we also must focus on making sure that we deliver on our commitment. I have seen on TV screens people from all corners of Kenya saying, we listened to you guys. We want to know when the delivery of your commitment is going to begin. And, and I really want us to know that the expectations of the people of Kenya are huge. And therefore, we do not have the luxury of wasting any time. I want to urge you, all of us, we need all hands on deck, and we don't have time to waste. We will shortly, after we go through the processes uh, um, that are ahead of us, we will shortly settle down to getting Kenya working. And I want to ask each and every one of you, as I do ask all leaders in Kenya, to join hands so that we can take the country forward. The events of after the election are speaking loudly to all of us as Kenyans. The people of Kenya, after the announcement of the results, there were celebrations across Kenya, and there was measured celebration across Kenya. In fact, immediately, the people of Kenya got down to do their normal, uh, 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 what, they know, what they do normally. Sending a very clear signal to us as leaders that they want us to take the country to another level.
the people of Kenya have come to appreciate that there was an election, and they have come to appreciate that there were people who were chosen as leaders, there were others who were assigned other responsibilities. So I want to say that uh, this afternoon to ask all of us as leaders in Kenya to learn from the people of Kenya who have settled on the issues. They now want us to deliver on the commitments that we gave the people of Kenya. And I want to say to this team that we do not have the luxury of time to waste. We must get on, roll up our sleeves, tighten up our belts, pull up our socks, and begin the, uh, the process of delivery of our commitments uh, to the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya have not only um, uh, spoken that loudly on the unity of the nation. In 2013, we, the government that won in 2013, we had 25% in 31 counties. In 2017, we had 34 counties. We got 25% in 34 counties. This year, we even have a broader mandate because we have won 25% in 39 counties. <laughs> that broader mandate comes with greater responsibility to every Kenyan, and that is why I want to say from the onset, there will be no room for exclusion of any part of the Republic of Kenya. We are going to govern in a manner that makes sure that no part of Kenya is left behind. No sector of Kenya is left behind. No community of Kenya is left behind. We're going to move together as a nation because the people of Kenya are already telling us that we need to change the politics of our nation and eliminate ethnicity from the equation of the leadership or governance of the Republic of Kenya. And that is, we are going to obey those instructions from the people of Kenya. Um, with that expanded mandate, <clears throat> Um, as I said, comes responsibility, which we must account for. And I will be leading this team in making sure that not only Kenya is united, but the delivery of government business is going to be to every part of the Republic of Kenya, making sure that if we move together, we can actually achieve more than by getting divided. And in so doing, let me just say two um, very important things. Number one, because we intend to deliver as a government, the public service is going to be a very important tool in the delivery of government programs and government services. And I want to commit right from the beginning that public service will be professional, and I expect that the public service will serve Kenyans equally, without any preference to tribe, uh, to um, communities, or any preference to political affiliations. <laughs> public servants across the board, all the way down to the chiefs and their assistants, we will be expecting them to serve Kenyans equally without favoring people because of their political affiliation. I am asking all public servants who have been forced to take political positions in the just concluded elections to step back and be professional 
public servants to carry out their mandate professionally. I am asking all public servants who have been forced to take political positions in the just concluded elections to step back and be professional public servants, to carry out their mandate professionally and serve all Kenyans equally. Political business will be carried out by political actors. Political parties must organize themselves and organize their structures to run their politics. I am sorry, members of the political administration, members of the provincial administration, public servants will not be available to carry out political work for any political party. It is the only way we can have a government that delivers. Political parties, including ours, must run their own political activities and look for their own people, errand men and women, to run their politics. Members of the provincial administration, public servants, will not be available to do any political work for any political party. We want them to remain independent, to work for all Kenyans, irrespective of which party they belong to or uh, which community they come from or what region they come from. That is how we are going to bring Kenya together. And therefore, I am sending my commitment to public servants that their jobs are protected, their jobs are secure, they don't have to participate, they don't have to take political sides, politicians and political actors will do that. They should serve Kenyans equally, irrespective of whatever political affiliations we have. Let me also say that um, uh, going into the future, our government must be accountable. We will shortly be uh, taking steps to make sure that we run a transparent, democratic, but accountable government. And we have discussed here with these um, uh, legislators and uh, uh, members of both the Senate and the National Assembly that we will be looking at the standing orders. It has not been possible for cabinet secretaries to be interrogated by the legislature. Some members of parliament have been answering questions in parliament. We do not think that is the right thing to do. And we are going to have a discussion so that we can adjust and amend the standing orders to make it possible for cabinet secretaries to get to the floor of the house and answer questions and uh, explain government policy on the floor of the house so that the people's representatives, members of parliament and senators, can interrogate what their government is doing. We do not think that it is enough for cabinet secretaries to go to committees of parliament. We have discussed with the, our speaker and there is a possibility of us ensuring that we run an accountable government by making sure that on a daily basis, the people of Kenya, through their representatives in parliament, can ask questions, can interrogate government policy, government programs on the floor of the House so that um, uh, uh, we can be better accountable as a, as a government. We will be 
um, speaking to many of the other issues as we, as we move forward. We will be um, uh, making our, polit our public policy uh, pronouncements to guide the country in the direction in which we believe the country will move uh, forward. And as I have said, we want to move the country forward at the earliest opportunity possible. We are looking forward to uh, the processes that are now ongoing coming to uh, a conclusion. Shortly, um, we will be suggesting uh, members of uh, um, Kenya Kwanzaa to the transition uh, committee. I think we are doing that today so that the process of the transition can kick in and we can um, go towards uh, concluding the matter of the election. If there will be court processes, we will uh, engage in those and make sure that we, because we are Democrats and we believe in the rule of law. So to that extent, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say um, we've had a wonderful meeting this morning. I think we have introduced uh, the new members who are here for the first time. We have also agreed that uh, Kenya Kwanzaa is going to run a mentorship program for our new members so that we can make them better, more effective, more efficient uh, legislators and people's representatives, and uh, we can better train them to be able to appropriate their responsibilities of oversight, their responsibilities of legislating, and their uh, responsibilities of uh, representation. We want them to be effective so that we can better deliver uh, to the people of Kenya. So with those many uh, remarks, I think uh, we have also agreed on other internal matters on uh, how, what uh, priorities we are going to work on. We have also agreed on uh, other political manenos which we are going to engage in and move forward uh, together. Uh, and in our Mideast, I think we have, uh, we have our county governors who are here. Um, we have senators who are here. We have members of parliament also who are here. Our senators, we have 24 senators. Uh, <clears throat> Asante sana, waishimiwa, ketuichini. Kenya Kwanza members of parliament again. 160, 163 of them. They are here. Ah, yeah. Asante sana. Thank you very much. We also have in the house uh, independents who are not who are not members directly members of Kenya Kwanza. Wasimame. We have them in the house. I think we have uh, how many of them? The, there are eight and another two who are, who are not here today. Okay, so out of 12, I think 10 members of the 10 independent members have joined our team. Um, I think those are the people who are there. Can I ask all our governors then to stand? My governor, where to? Let's do the governors first. Thank you very much. Those are uh, our governors, Asante Nisana. And then the deputy governors, Wasimame. Very good, Asante Nisana. We still have uh, two outstanding uh, governors.